Hi, this is John Vrabel. Today we're going to talk about a brief history of Zippo lighters. In 1932, uh, the lighters were, were actually copied from a, a Swiss lighter by George uh, Blandell in Hartford, Pennsylvania. This is a good starter Zippo. You can see on the bottom, there's a series of dots and dashes if you can read this off. And by knowing the codes, that tells me this letter is produced in 1958. So it's been carried all that time. Still functions perfectly. This one is $18. This is kind of a fun lighter. There's a Zippo lighter uh, that was used in the Rolex golf tournament. And again, this lighter has been carried and worn, but because of the national advertising of Rolex, this one's $125. Another area of collectible Zippos is anything that was carried during World War II or the Vietnam era. Some of the lighters had to be looked at very carefully because instead of having the old hand engraved, engraving is done to the lighters, uh, the inside might be laser etched, which means that somebody might take an old Zippo, a plain Zippo, and just engrave new markings into it to make it look as though it came from the 60s or it was actually in Vietnam. So you have to be careful and you have to make sure that the bottom of the can and the insert have the corresponding uh, uh, patent pending marks and, and uh, serial numbers inside there. Long term uh, value of Zippos is going to stay up there because there's more and more kids that are collecting them. Sure, there are fewer people smoking, but there's more young fellas that are getting involved in being part of Americana and owning, uh, owning a, a piece of American history, a piece that their dad had, you know, and that's, that's where the Zippos come in.